I'm going to quickly give a rundown of the new tile sets feature. So to start with, you can find it up here in the top left in the model section. You just click on tile sets, and then you have access to the tile set styles. Uh, to start with, you've got this simple tile set creator where you can just type in a prompt. Uh, like I'm going to give, let's go with like, I don't know, uh, meadow with dirt paths or something. Um, and then you can set the size. Right now it only supports 16 by 16, 24 by 24, and 32 by 32. Uh, you can also give it an input image for inspiration, but I'm just going to leave it as the prompt for now. So I'll start that generating, and we should have a result in a little bit here. And just like that, we've got our textures back. Uh, so you can see it actually made that like kind of meadow grass with some like little wildflowers or berries or something here. And then we've also got that dirt path. Uh, there's also this advanced tile set creation style, and this actually gives you two prompts and two um, image inputs. So I'll just start with, uh, let's go with rocks for the inside texture, and we will go with brass for the outside texture. And I'll just generate that. And there we go. We've got that grass texture on the outside and the rocks on the inside. Uh, something else cool that you can do with this is if I give it this specific rock texture and then we generate again, it'll actually use exactly that texture when it creates this tile set. There we go. And as you can see, it did use exactly this uh, texture that I uploaded. And then it created these transition tiles between this texture and the grass that it generated. Um, now you could also actually just supply the grass yourself. So I'm, I'm actually just going to go to this single tile option. And we can generate, let's, let's go with like, dark green ragged grass. So now I'm just going to take that and we'll redo this. Box. It's got that inside texture still uploaded. And then I'm going to drag that grass into the input image there and generate that new tile set. There it is. So that's the mixture of this nice dark green grass that we made and this stone texture that we've got and you can see it created the transitions between them and now you can use this whole tile set to like create little world maps and stuff uh, there's also this really nice tile variation feature uh, clear this stuff out so it's not messing with us while we're trying to do new stuff so this tile variation feature uh, you have to upload a reference image so i'll just drag this grass over here then I'm going to set the change to about 50. Um, you don't even really need a prompt, but I'll just kind of give it some context here. Like this is grass. And now what it will actually do is create some variations of that grass texture that we could use to kind of break up the repeating pattern that this has. There we go. So this is a few different like variations of that same grass texture. And we could use that to pretty easily like break up how things look. Now we could also say uh, we want to like add, add wildflowers. So now we've got that grass texture with these little wildflowers on it. Moving on, we've got the tile objects style, which is pretty similar to the top down item style if you've used that before. This one, kind of just a little different. Let's make uh, a rose. That's pretty simple. Cool. And then maybe like a little cluster of rocks or something. So the purpose of this is like small environmental objects that you can add into your, uh, your maps that you make with the tile sets. Um, then there's also this scene object style, which is used for larger things. So if I go ahead and let's go with 
256, or sorry, 128 by 256 here. And we'll make uh, a hmm, tall withered tree. Very cool. So now you've got these different tile sets and different ways of making tile sets and little objects to place on those tile sets. That's uh, kind of the basic overview of how the tile set tab here works. And I can't wait to see what people make with it.